straight ahead on Fox 44 News at 530. Can your employer require you to get the COVID-19 vaccine? Well, we'll have an answer from a local legal expert. And a Waco police officer, an Office Depot employee, and a good Samaritan walk into a supply store. What they did to help the community will have the details. Also, people are at, police are asking the public to lock their cars overnight after a string of car burglaries took place in Robinson last night. Live from Waco, Temple, and Colleen, your news now. This is Fox 44 News at 530. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 44 News at 530. I'm Allison Fox O'Connor. As the Delta variant of the COVID-19 virus continues to infect those across the country, some businesses and men medical centers are now requiring their employees to get the vaccine. Talk of vaccine requirements has had many concerned about their rights and their medical choices compared to the policies of their employers. Baylor Scott and White has now required all of its employees to receive the vaccine by October 1st. Those that that do not get the shot and do not have approved exemptions will be separated from their employment. But can an employer require their employees to make a medical decision? Here's what Baylor University professor Patricia Wilson had to say. Yes, it is legal for most employers to mandate that their employees be vaccinated in order to work there. In Texas, we live by the rule of employment at will. What that means is the employment relationship exists as long as both the employer and the employee want it to last. And that what that means, practically speaking, is the employer can terminate or refuse to hire anybody for any reason or no reason at all. And coming up on Fox 44 News at 6, we'll dive deeper into why most people won't fit into that exemption category. Walmart will require all of its workers, including those who are vaccinated, to wear masks in areas with high infection rates. The retail store will be adding back signs at the entrances and encourages customers to wear a mask in those areas with surging cases of the Delta variant. They are also doubling to $150 incentive for workers in stores, clubs, transportation, distribution centers, and fulfillment centers to get the vaccine. The Waco Police Department is preparing to help children in the community with their first back to school bash and one officer is already going above and beyond. School supply donations have been pouring in since the Waco Police Department announced the back to school bash for the community. In addition to school supplies, they have also partnered with others in the community for activities and free haircut vouchers. Officer Jeremy Angel says when he saw there were more things on the list that needed to be picked up, he decided to make a trip to Office Depot. The kids are our future and giving back to them are, is crucial. So it's just like a child seat in a car. So we have to protect them and something as little as construction paper or pencil sharpeners or markers, that is our future because that's going to educate them. So it's going to educate them to be better and be good stewards of our, of our community. Coming up at 6, Fox 44's Bryn Shavia Jordan shares who else stepped in to help the officer. One person is dead after a shooting this afternoon in Belton. P police are looking for the shooter right now. The shooting happened this afternoon just after 3 on the 1100 block of Shady Lane. An ambulance, an ambulance rushed a 39-year-old man to the hospital, but he did not survive. Right now, police are not giving out a lot of information about the shooting. We'll bring you updates as they become available. Killeen Police Department is in search of a suspect involved in an aggravated robbery of a business. The incident happened Thursday night at the Start Mart on 3603 Zephyr Road. Reports say a man entered the business, brought out a handgun, and demanded money. He then ran away on foot with an undisclosed amount of money. The suspect was armed with a dark-colored semi-automatic handgun. Police are asking if you have any information, contact Crime Stoppers or visit the website that's on your screen. Robinson police is urging residents to lock their cars and to not leave valuables in their vehicles following multiple car burglaries reported throughout Thursday evening. Numerous calls were fielded from the Surrey Ridge subdivision area off Moonlight Drive between Moonlight and I-35. One of the cars was left with a smashed window and a firearm was taken from another vehicle. Police are urging people not to leave firearms overnight in their cars. No description of the thieves is yet available. A traffic crash on southbound I-35 at Business 77 in the Waco area back traffic up all the way to Lacey Lakeview this morning. At one point, all lanes were closed. Waco police say there were two cars involved in the crash and it appeared to have happened around 8 this morning. There were no injuries, but the interstate ground to a halt on the southbound side. 
And seven U.S. Army soldiers from Fort Hood complete, completed the Manufacturing Institute's Heroes Make America program Thursday. It was the first time the 12-week program was taught at Texas State Technical College. The students were commended for their work ethic and willingness to learn and succeed. Temple Civic Center will celebrate its history with the unveiling of its state historical marker tonight. A small reception will be held at 6.30, following by a ceremony remembering those who created the Temple Civic Theater and those responsible for receiving the historical marker. The theater will welcome Mayor Tim Davis and other guests and will present the world premiere performance of The Other Side of Nothing, a romantic comedy written by a founding member of the theater. Performances will be held tonight and tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. For more information, you can contact the theater at the number on your screen. And straight ahead on Fox 44, the extensions of the eviction moratorium have come to an end. Find out what national officials have to say when we return. Weather-wise, we are looking at the weekend, and we're also looking at a heat advisory that kicks in tomorrow. It's going to be very, very hot, especially in the afternoon. We're going to talk about that, but also some relief on the way. The 10-day forecast is straight ahead. This is Fox 44 News at 530 with Adam Hooper. AMS Certified Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe and Sports with Matt Roberts.